Hi guys, welcome back to Bab Seagulls Vintage, your favorite channel for vintage and secondhand luxury items. Because even if I only unbox bags and shoes, uh, once I will have my new body, my 2023 body, I will be sharing with you my passion for vintage and secondhand clothing and accessories too. So if you don't want to miss my next video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. <laughs> Guys, um, I think I'm a little bit late this week. You might have like two uploads at the same day, at the same hour, because I am a little bit, a little bit, a little bit uh, late and unorganized. I think I have to, I thought I was a organized girl, but I think I have a lot to do on this but I have to tell I, I didn't want to say things. so so far so good I think 2023 will be the year so I didn't want to you know celebrate before no the end of the quarter but but I really wanted to share with you this big new because I am so happy about that even if I just ate two chocolates but uh, yeah, I cannot be perfect, right? Guys, so um, now I have finished, you know, to, to tell you my life and give you some little updates that nobody asked for. Um, today we will have an unboxing, maybe two, I don't know if I will do two unboxings because I have two things to share with you. Um, this one, this one here, uh, I bought it at the end of 2022, so you know that sometimes I will share with you things I bought before, but but I never had the opportunity to share with you. So well, it's not an impulsive purchase of 2023. Uh, I have done a few until now, and I think I have to stop a little bit. <laughs> Uh, and try to stick to my wish list, but it's very hard. And if you didn't watch my latest video where I unboxed my Salvatore Ferragamo in pink, this bag is so gorgeous, I couldn't pass on this. Like, I am obsessed with iconic top handles, and I'm proud of you guys because a few people told me thank you for talking about the brand and the bag because I bought one too, I am obsessed, I will start my collection too, I'm proud of you, but please don't buy all the bags. Like, let some, you know, for me, even if I have six now in my collection, I want more. I want more. So, let some bags for Babsy. Alors, today, this one, it's not a Salvatore Ferragamo, it's um, Chanel, I think it is, because I received it month ago i closed the the box and um, i will you know unbox again with you and uh, yeah let's see what is inside but i think it's the bag i'm supposed you know to unbox and if it's not maybe it's a sex toy or something no it's not <laughs> but um yeah yeah it is i can see it i can see it in my eyes when i open the box hold on because i don't Wanna cut myself? Alors, no, I don't. I, can you see a little turn lock? Yes, you can. Alors, this bag was again a like compulsive purchase. Um, I think it's a little bit black on the camera, but this is, let me introduce to you, to my um, vintage jersey medium classic flap in brown. I know in the camera it's a little bit like uh, like um, black, but it's a dark chocolate, very dark chocolate. And I love it 
because um, there is no damage. Yes, a little, yeah, a little, little spot here in the corner. Um, can you see here? But nothing I cannot fix. Um, the chain, as you can see, is the Mademoiselle chain. It's really short, right? Um, when I received it, I was like, oh my God, it's so short. And uh, I checked a few ones on eBay. And I don't know if the previous owner, you know, wanted to have it short like this. So they just removed um, like almost half of the strap or if it was like this. I gotta say that I found a few ones with you know the short strap and when i got it i was like uh-huh i will have you know to do something to have it longer but i think it's gonna be um i will keep this one like this short and uh, wear it you know just like a shoulder bag um because yeah since what 2021 20, 22 like two years now uh we are ha having a lot of shoulder bag and I, I really like it so I like you know the yeah the short chain style and uh, yeah the gold is a little bit it's not like bright gold because it's old but you can see it's still you know gold <laughs> um, let's see inside I really love my first Chanel bag I have to it's not here. I have to share it with you once. My first Chanel uh, pre-loved bag um, in lambskin, in medium. It was exact. It's exactly like this one, but it's in lambskin leather. And I have, you know, this flat. I don't know if it's really 80s turn lock. And uh, I love this bag. It cost me like $300. <laughs> like 10 years ago and it's, it's crazy when you think how much uh, Chanel bags are worth now um, so inside uh, it's a beautiful uh, um, beige uh, leather Chanel um, you have Chanel whoops here and in front you have like made in France um, I don't have the sticker anymore and I have the feeling with these uh, older bags, it's really rare to have, you know, the original sticker inside. Uh, but I just think they are really, really nice. And I have the feeling they are a little bit bigger uh, than the you know, late uh, 90s and uh, 2000 Chanel bags. So it's that's why I really love my um vintage one yeah the bag looks really 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 good inside as you can see i don't know if i can show you guys um i cannot wait to wear um this is my first um brown chanel okay i have one here <laughs> brown chanel uh, but i mean classic flap I'm not a brown girl uh, because I, I don't know, uh, brown, it's like almost like black. So I always, you know, prefer to have a black coat or a blazer or a bag. Uh, but I don't know, I just really, really loved this one. And I always wanted um, black uh, jersey, vintage jersey like this one. Uh, I found a few. I almost bought them, but I it was I mean, I found them after this one So I'm not sure I have you know to get one because I will have the lambskin one The brown one and you know a jersey black one. It's almost the same bag and I think I can pass even if I, I really love Jersey Chanel bags and I think if you can have uh, vintage Chanel jersey bag on your collection it's a really really beautiful bag and it's a must-have and you have this vintage old style that I really love 
Um, Jay-Z will be more, of course, delicate than leather, of course, because it's fabric. But between jersey and velvet, jersey and satin, jersey and what? Tweed. <laughs> Uh, and this kind of really, really delicate uh, fabrics, I would, I, I would, you know, choose the jersey one. And you can actually find really good deals. I found this one on my favorite forever. I think 99.9999999 percent of my collection comes from eBay. I love this. I love. I love. I love. I love. I love. You know chasing and hunting on eBay, it's my favorite hobby. I wish I could work for a vintage shop and my job would be find bags like. I would be paid to do what I love and <laughs> this would be my dream job, I think. Um, but yeah, eBay. And I paid for it, if my memory is good, around $1,200 for a Chanel bag, so I think it's a pretty good deal. And uh, yes, I yeah, I cannot wait to wear this one. I think it's, it's, oh my God. <laughs> it's a beautiful um, handbag and I love the color. And the more I look at it, the more I tell myself that I will not need the black one. But what you, what do you think? Do I need a black one? I have, this is my third Chanel in Jersey. I have a red one. I really like it, but it was really, I have to show you guys once because this one was really damaged. I paid peanuts, but uh, yeah, I had, you know, to repair a little bit the Jersey and uh, yeah, it's really damaged. I... I don't know, sometimes I tell myself maybe you should just buy this one for the price you paid and uh, voila. But it's a beautiful color. Uh, then I have um, beige one. I did a video about this one. And, uh, and this one. So I think I have, yeah, three jersey Chanel. <gasps> okay, one color I would love to have after the <laughs> a black one would be a navy, a bl a navy blue. Oh, so pretty, but again, really close to um, black, but not black. So maybe one day. And yes, we're not a baby pink too. I love pink bags, but I never wear them. So I don't think this would be a an, an smart investment. Um, I hope I'm crossing my fingers um that i will be able you know to reach my goals in i mean i mean my weight loss goals in june and from that i will be able to wear my bags because i've said uh, before um i i'm always you know having the same bags and shoes and clothes because um, I'm just trying to hide myself. I don't want to have anything like extravagant or colorful because I don't want people um, to look at me. I don't want to be, you know, like, hey, I'm here. Um, so I'm really trying to hide myself. And I think this is the reason why I don't wear my accessories. Um, that's the reason I'm, you know, I'm waiting. I buy them, I keep them and yeah, in having the hope to wear them once. Not sure about the strategy, but yeah, I think uh, once I will be able to, you know, to style my, my bags and my clothes how I really want, it's gonna be like more, um, yeah, I will really enjoy it and I will wear my, my things. But at the moment they are just staying for mommy, no, to be ready for you because I don't wanna disappoint you my love guys thank you for watching and yes let me know if i should get a black one i need to know because you know me and you know i can go crazy and just buy it even if it's not on my wish list thank you guys for watching and i see you in my next video that should be already uploaded just after this one because i'm late this week je vous embrasse et je vous dis à la prochaine vidéo bisous bisous bye